It says in Matthew 5, 43, in a different way, it talks about this. You've heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you so that you may be sons of your father who is in heaven. For he makes the sun rise on the evil and on the good and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. Whew. How many people are thankful for the rain? Had the rain yesterday. Did it hit just your righteous house or everybody's house? I have some neighbors not so righteous, still hit their house. What do you think? Me, myself, not always so righteous, still hit my house. Thank you, Jesus. Wash all the dirt off. The idea is this, that we see this thing that starts it. We're like, man, that sounds great. Man, love your neighbor. I like that. My neighbors are pretty great. I, my, my personal neighbors are great. It's like Ernie and the Mike and Jason. Those guys are great. Love my neighbor. He's like, and also love your enemies. You're like, okay, let's go back to love your neighbor. Love your neighbor. I like the love your neighbor part. We're in the same HOA. I love my neighbor. And he's like, no, love your enemies. You're like, wait, can we go back? You get a good point. Love your enemies, man. That's a much different thing. And not just love them, but pray for your enemies. Whew. And you, you hear a lot of vile things come out of people's mouth when they don't like somebody. Anybody? I mean, you've never said that stuff. Thank the Lord. But people that you know have said things that are pretty evil about people they don't like. And they might have a good reason. Maybe the person is doing all sorts of heinous things or terrible things or they think those things are wrecking the country, whatever it is. Here's the deal. If that person's your enemy in your heart, then you're called to pray for them. You don't like that? I'm sorry. That's the words of Jesus. So if you're going all the way back to she loves Jesus, if you love Jesus, then you probably should do what Jesus says. See, it's not Pastor Jay says or these people at this church say you got to love your enemies. No, no, no. Jesus, you love your enemies and pray for them. 